Hello students, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishash. I welcome you all in my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecules. Today's topic of discussion is one MCQ about hydrazine derivative. Okay, so you can see the problem reaction of this cyclopentanone with this hydrazine in presence of methanol KCN. What is the product or you may say what is the major product of this reaction? Four options are provided and one of them is the right answer. In this context, I request you students, please pause the video, try by yourself and whatever answer you get, please write in the comment box along with few words as explanation. And don't worry, after some time, you'll get the right answer with proper explanation. I believe you have tried by yourself, this my turn to give you the answer. Now, if you look at this ketone, this cyclopentanone, it's a pretty simple ketone, obviously. But if you look at this reagent, its tosyl hydrazine, it's little unique. For example, only this nitrogen part can react. And if you look at this sulfur center, it is sterically protected by these two big isopropyl group. So obviously, as usual, first type of reaction is this sheep based formation because we know hydrazines are more nucleophilic and more active for this sheep based formation. I have already discussed a dedicated lecture on sheep base. You may visit for better understanding. So, this NH2 will react with this carbonyl and in this way first reaction will be imine. So, let us see. So, first reaction will be imine sheep base condensation. It will produce one molecule of water. Now, in the next step what is given? Potassium cyanide and heat. We know this potassium cyanide means K plus Cn minus and Cn minus is actually a good nucleophile. Simple question. Where the nucleophilic attack can be done? Actually, there are two centers. One is this carbonyl, point number one, and point number two is this sulfur double bond oxygen. But sometime before I told that this sulfur center is sterically protected, nucleophile can't attack here. One side from this two isopropyl group, another is aromatic pi cloud. So, no, only one option for this reaction possible there. So, it will attack and it will open up. So, obviously, this N minus. Now, in the next step, what is possible? This N minus could be donated here and this sulfur can leave with reduction. Fine. So, what will be the consequence? Obviously, N N double bond with cyanide addition. Now, student, remember one important information that nitrogen nitrogen double bond in any case is not that much stable rather than they prefer to be nitrogen nitrogen triple bond because this nitrogen nitrogen triple bond is one of the very strong bond covalent bond you can consider and that's why in atmosphere we have near about 78 percent nitrogen means that much stability so that's why nitrogen eliminated you can consider that this carbon absorb this hydrogen and satisfy its valency so this is the reactivity of this at diazo derivative Okay, so this is called diazo two nitrogen. So fine. So what is the product of this reaction? Obviously, option C. Now, if this problem is provided in your exam less than thirty second, how can you solve? First of all, you need to understand the first step reaction. This is hydrazine and carbonyl. Simple, sieve based reaction, water elimination. Blindly, I suggest you student you draw the structure of that product. So, after that you can see there is KCN. So, you can understand that KCN can only attack this imine carbon not this sulfur because it is protected. So, if you do this obviously there will be a cyanide means carbon carbon bond here. So, the product will be more than this 5 carbon which option accepts that obviously option C only ok. So, another thing actually this NH2 preparation means this hydrazine bond breaking not possible. OH there is a logical option and another thing hydrazone means nucleophile will attack the sulfur center after that this hydrazine will leave not that possible as it is sterically protected I told. So, from that point also this option C is the right answer. So, so in conclusion what you have learned today that this hydrazine or its derivatives are very active to undergo nucleophilic addition with carbonyl groups and they produces hydrazide by seed base reaction. And in this context adjacent lone pair lone pair repulsion makes the hydrazine a better nucleophile than simple primary amine or ammonia you can say and this is actually called as alpha effect. 
Now, in this context, remember, please, after this Sibmes formation, the product E means a relatively weaker electrophilic than the parent carbonyl group, and that's why good nucleophile needed and in this context cyanide is actually a better nucleophile because of the softness of this carbon atom nucleophilic carbon atom okay and diazo compounds are generally generally unstable diazo i am told talking this n n double bond compound and they have a tendency to undergo n2 elimination because this n2 there is nitrogen triple bond very stable and in N2 molecule, there is obviously, as I told, triple bond which is stable in gaseous nature, and that helps this elimination of nitrogen or nitrogen come out from the reaction mixture as gas helps to helps the reaction to move in the forward direction. Okay, so this is the end of this question. I thanks everyone for watching this video, and if you really enjoy and consider the content of my channel is worthy, then please help this channel to grow. So stay happy, stay blessed. See you in my next video. Bye bye.